All into turn one and through there safely. Great start there from Connor London heading them out. Aaron Hassan sitting in second. Great little battle uh, come down to the last lap in the second race. Stretching those ZX10 legs is Connor London. Uh, what a great performance, uh, turning up to his first little club day here and uh, going into the Putaline Senior Race, and uh, he's looking very comfortable in that ZX10. Barnes and Jenkins have signed him up for this season, and he'll be campaigning the Tri-Series and the New Zealand Championship, and uh, he's going to be a threat, definitely, in the Superbike class. To the last corner still Nathan J Nathan Jane has moved up into third position so it's Connor London from Aaron Hassan Nathan Jane Hamish Tarr what a great ride there in front of Avalon Biddle Tyler Fern Jake Killer Eddie Cat he's dropped back to ninth hopefully he can work his way through Ian Reid in tenth Richard Dibbon in twelfth Aiden Clear Aiden Clear in tw in twelfth Gary Morgan in 13th, 14th is Grant Wilkinson, and 15th is Paul Jenkins. Still quite a good little freight train. Uh, Hassan's still hanging on to the back of Connor. He doesn't want to really let him go. He uh, put up a great performance, and uh, Nathan Jane, too, stepping up onto the 600 for Barnes and Jenkins. He's the teammate of Connor London, and he's doing a great job. Uh, job out there in third place. Hamish Tarr also in front of uh, classy riders like Avalon Biddle uh, just back from Europe and um, she's going to be on the MTA uh, Team Kawasaki. Lighting it up hard there and he's straight down into the tens there. Aaron Hassan doing 11s. Same with Nathan Jane. Great lap times coming out in this one so even though we had a 15 minute break for the rain, we just got a flash little storm that came in and wet the track. So we just waited for 15 minutes and thought about riders' safety and then we've let it dry up and put them back out. And it's great thinking by the officials of the Hamilton Motorsport Club. And uh, it just shows what a great series. Now I'm joined up here by MCG. What do you do? Tell me a little bit about your business. Yeah, um, my name's Helene and Dean's my other half and we own motorcyclegear.co.nz. We do all things motorcycle where it comes to parts, accessories, gear, just anything that you need to put on your body, put on your bike, you can come and see us. We've um, got thousands of products literally on the website but our little shop is based in Tauriko and Tauranga. So uh, someone just jumps on the internet, picks out their gear and stuff like that and then they just dial it up or do they ring you or how do they do it? And you. All sorts of ways, so you can just order online, pay through the website, arrives at your door, deal's done. Or you can give us a phone call, ask questions, make sure you know what you're buying, you're comfortable with it before putting your order through, um, or you can pop into the shop, so we're there, we can help you anyway. What sort of brands are you um, marketing and stuff, and do you do dirt and road, race? We, we do dirt and road, although we are more focused on road because that's been our history, um, but we have um, all the stuff available on the line for the off-road as well as on-road. Cool. So we have uh, Dry Rider, we um, do RST, a really good um, seller through us with the helmets, we've got HJC, LS2, we find they're really good brands for the um, average rider plus a great value for the racer. But then if you want top of the line helmets, we've got those too. And whereabouts are you based? Um, Tariko Taronga is where we are currently, but with the mobile shop, it means that uh, we can get off to these um, race events occasionally. So we can get out there back to, um, to where our first passion is, back with the racing guys. Uh, we've um, spent a number of years helping in the racing scene and marshalling, um, done a bit of track work ourselves um, in going to Bucket. So looking out there at uh, I'm watching Aaron out there and um, Avalon is really exciting because we've gone through buckets with them and uh, watched and marshalled them on the Auckland tracks for many years until we moved to Tauranga. Oh, that's cool. So have you done uh, much riding yourself? Yeah, I started riding myself at 40. I've been a pillion ever since I was married, way back when. But at 40 I started riding um, and really enjoyed it. I didn't think I would, loved it. Done big tours down around South Island. In fact, uh, we did a tour overseas as well, America. Um, and then my husband got me involved in bucket racing 
or have I enjoyed that? That really puts a smile on your dial. I'm um, fortunate that uh, I'm going to be helping out bike rider board a bike and they're putting on a 150 and stuff. So I'll be looking after a young kid this season, uh, Braden Hobden. So I'll be taking him around. So hopefully that will the 150 Suzuki series, hopefully that'll be pretty sharp to watch this year. Oh, I reckon it will. And look, getting the younger ones on those smaller bikes is just absolutely excellent. It gives them a lot of race craft that they can learn long before they um, head on to the bigger bikes. And having them on the smaller tracks um, it just get, gives them the ability to learn the skill of passing, having lots of bikes around you. Um, yeah, just that race craft, getting sensible uh, and just slowly getting faster. Totally agree. Yeah. And, um, I think it's a great series that Suzuki's put on, the 14 yeah, to 21 year olds, all on the little 150, so they're not mm. rocket ships, but it's going to be nice, tight little racing. It's, Absolutely. And it's cheap great. and it's affordable, and yeah. we've got to fill the fields up. And, and it's great spectator watching when you see them in um, those tight pack fields like that. Excellent spectator watching. I was just fortunate enough to go out to Philip Island with Team Rees, and I was uh, watching Mitchell riding, but yeah, the highlight for me was the 300 class. It was amazing racing over there. They were five abreast, and they were up on the ripple strip trying to cut the track and that was great racing so hopefully this summer series will be pretty good absolutely looking forward to it so how about do they uh get you what's your website and your phone number and stuff okay so our website is just simply motorcyclegear.co.nz um, and you can get on there anytime um, our phone numbers are on the website as well um, so but you can call Dean anytime on 021 706 436 but that's a bit hard to remember but motorcyclegear.co.nz is easy cool. so just jump on there and uh, contact us through that we'll see what we can do to help you thank you very much and great talking to you thank you and don't forget on race days if you see our van at your event you can come over and get 10% off on race days always do it for our race guys that's great Thanks. <laughs> Looking back to the racing here, and uh, Connor London still looks like he's uh, got things under control, and he's uh, putting the hammer down at a 10.2, but um, Aaron Hassan's keeping him honest at a 10.6 or so. Nathan Jane, great ride for him too, the second of the Barnes and Jenkins bikes out there, and great ride from Hamish Tar. He's holding off uh, Avalon Biddle. Nice to see Eddie Kattenberg's got that uh, Ducati handling a fair bit better. And now he's chasing after a super fast Avalon Biddle. Two laps to go, uh, hopefully coming through to get the white flag this time, Connor London. Looking super smooth and getting humongous drive out of that last corner on that ZX10 is Connor London and he picks up the white flag from a hard charging Aaron Hassan on that little Suzuki 600. Third place, uh, first season here and a great start to his riding in the 600 classes. Nathan Jane looking super sharp. Great ride from Hamish Tarr there in fourth holding off the fast charging Avalon Biddle. And great to see Eddie Kattenberg keeping her honest in sixth place. Jake Keller coming through there in seventh. Uh, Richard Markham in ninth. Oh, Cat getting held up a little bit there by uh, um, someone with a fluoro vest on. So that's uh, given Avalon a little bit of a breather. Av having a little go at Tyler there on the last lap. Coming round to uh, make it three from three and a great start to his uh, Super Bike Championship is Connor London. Good stuff, mate. Aaron Hassan, beautiful return. They're making it a great thing and possibly the championship, but we'll just have to do the points and stuff. So Nathan Jane, great, great start to your 600s, mate. Avalon Biddle right on the back, but Hamish Tah hangs on to fourth with Avalon Biddle fifth. Good to see the Ducati coming through, Eddie, getting that thing sorted in sixth place. Jake Keller in seventh. 